enjoy, I don't know, one of the local fruit trees or wherever. These are fry that Karen and myself have been looking after during the winter time. Keeping an eye on the eggs, checking the fry. So I've just done a quick kick sample there. Very, very basic. All you do, you kick sample net, jump into the water, kick around a few stones, just dislodge in anything that's lying in below it, catch it in the net. And again, you know, I was only in it for maybe a minute, maybe not much longer. So I have them all in the dish here. She's flat out hooking at them. Let's go and have a look and see what we found. So here we are with the contents of the kick sample net tipped onto this wee tray. So Karen's just going to start pulling bits of debris out. There's leaves and stones and sticks in there. And we'll have a wee look, see what we can come across. We're going there, going to start pulling them out, give them a good shake so as anything falls off. And if you see any wee bugs, give us a shout and we'll see what you've what you've got. What's that? Right, so there's a couple of wee shrimp. There's a, there's a wee shrimp. shrimp. I, don't, I don't know whether that will work out. Whether it will be made out on the camera or not. No. So we've got uncased caddis. Oh, there are really many shrimp. There's some more wee shrimp. Right. Try to look for some olives. Do you see any olives in there? there in the corner. So what we have here is a flattened olive nymph. This is sort of the basis for my creeper olive that I use a lot at the start of the season. So we'll just keep that. Maybe get a, see if we can get a close up of that soon. So what else have we got? So we've got shrimps, caddis, Olives, a few beetles in there, nymphs. What you find? What's that? Shrimps. Shrimps everywhere, is there? Yes. That looks like another wee, wee olive. So, for all the time that we were in there, there seems to be an awful lot of stuff. And no shortage of food for the fry that we're going to plant out. So I'd be happy enough, happy enough to stick a few in. And so I've stripped out a lot of the, well, a lot of the debris, not all of it, but the majority of it. And just as you can see, the tray's alive with nymphs. No shortage of food in there for the fish. <clears throat> Karen's just going to point out this flattened nymph there. See if I can zoom in. Oh, there he's away. That's the fly there that sort of was the basis for the creeper nymph that's in one of my tie-in videos. A fly that, to be honest, I just can't speak highly enough of. Hey, stop pulling at it. So we'll get these boys back into the water and then see how the fry are getting on. They should be ready, well acclimatised to get planted out. So this is our bucket of fry just moved it from the bag into the bucket for convenience of planting out and then all we do is head down to the bottom with a stretch that we're going to start planting out and then 
just with a tea strainer, fasten onto a bit of bamboo, very high tech piece of equipment, you just scoop out half a dozen or so at a time, every metre, metre and a half, stick a couple in, simple. So that's our first bucket of this season's fry, plant it out. We chose this stream because it's been highlighted to us before a of trout, so hopefully this will just give it a nice Because we did the Kips kick sample, we know that the bullets are out there for them, so that shouldn't really be an issue. Again, water quality, there was plenty of olives. The fact that they're there shows that the water quality must be reasonably good, therefore there's no reason that we shouldn't be trout returning to spawn on it, but it's just a case of watching it and see. Thanks a lot for watching. Karen, did you enjoy planting the fry out? Yeah! You to help me again? Yeah. Good woman. Again, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you subscribe.